so basically don't kill it. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a box to open. So this is actually a gift sent to me from my friend Amy from Fang Hub Tarantulas. And I have no idea what species is in this box, but apparently it made her think of me. It's something that I would like. I, I don't really know. She just told me that she was sending me it and uh, here we are. Uh, I don't think I know anybody that would know my taste in tarantulas better than Amy, seeing as how, yeah, we've just talked a lot about tarantulas over the past few years. She's seen my collection. She's been here actually to my apartment before. And so yeah, she knows me probably better than most people in the tarantula hobby and what species I would like and wouldn't like. So I trust her that this is gonna be something really cool. However, she did kind of indicate that I probably won't know what it is and that it's a sling. So she also sent me an email that has all the information about it that I can share with you guys. So yeah, let's just crack into this and find out what it is. So yeah, Amy and her son Quentin are running this new site called Fang Hub Tarantulas. Now Amy has sold tarantulas for like a while, but like just under her name, like it was never like an official business or anything. She's done a lot of breeding. She's doing this new business venture, which is awesome. I totally support it. Amy is just like been a mentor. Like she joined the hobby, I think a few years before me. So she was pretty established by the time we met and we became friends pretty quickly. I feel like we hit it off right away. All right. I'm not too worried because it's not very cold outside. Ugh. And Amy packages things so good. Ooh, it's warm in here too. Yeah, nice little heat pack. Oh, it's so warm. Oh, I like it. You know how they say don't use heat pads for tarantulas because they'll slowly cook themselves? That is a mood. But I see one little vial and two little vial. E W. I don't know. Ew, I don't know. I, I don't know what that could be. And KB, I think this is a K Bruna piece. If so, it's gonna be teeny tiny, but I don't know what this is. So I guess let's go get an enclosure. Amazon's here. So let's Fight. let Poe get it out of the system. Fight intruder. Fight. All right, so I guess the first one we will look at is the K Bruna piece. Just because I already know what that is. Oh, where are my tongs? I'm never prepared. Now I'm a little bit more prepared, I guess. Now I can turn this light on also if I need to, but. Oh, it's a little, little baby. So I actually used to have an adult female K Bruna piece and she was so cool. I bought her as an adult though. And so she was pretty old and I only had her like maybe a year. That was my first adult loss ever. I was pretty bummed. It doesn't seem like the dwarf species live as long. So I'm actually pretty happy to get just a baby this time so I can actually have it for longer and watch it grow. They really like to burrow though. From what I remember, mine burrowed a ton and she webbed up a lot and stuff. So I'm gonna give this a lot of substrate. So let's set up that enclosure really quick. All I'm going to be doing is using this tarantula cribs enclosure with the magnets on top. Now, fortunately, when they're this size, they're not very hard to please. Check out these teeny tiny holes. I think this will be okay. Let me, let me look again. So we might need to just do a vial. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll totally be perfect. Ta-da, the perfect enclosure. <laughs> just full of reptosoil. And we will put just a little piece of cork in there also. And there we go. This is gonna be its new home for quite a while, but I do feel like they grow like pretty steady. Now, I do feel like they can be a little bolty. I'm gonna try to get a better look. Oh, <laughs> there we are, ready. Oh, wow. Oh, you ready? Nope. Uh, don't you dare go back inside. Oh, <laughs> it just kind of fell off into it. There it is. Look how little. Oh my God, I love it. It's so cute. So small, so, so small. Wiggle around, my dude. I bet you're thirsty. I feel like a drop of water will drown this thing. No. There you go. So yay, I'm glad the first one made it safely. Ah, oh, oh, so clumsy. Okay, I need to stop leaning it up. They're not the uh, most poised at this size, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so let's set this little one aside. 
And uh, let's see what is in this one. I don't know if this one's gonna be as small. And again, I don't know what EW is. I'm trying to think like maybe it's a youthless species or something. Oh, I have an idea. It might be like E. campostratus and that genus. I can't, I can't say the first part besides E. I think it might be something relating to that. Okay, I'm gonna stop guessing and let's just set up an enclosure. And uh, I think it should probably be around the same size since it's in the same kind of little vial. So again, we will use a little tarantula cribs magnetic top enclosure with the little holes. Now I do know that it is terrestrial. So a setup like this should be fine. Why can I not like not make a mess? It's like, I, it's impossible for me not to make a mess. And we will also put a little piece of cork in this one as well. Just a tip if you use these and you get dirt on the magnets. I just brush it off with a paintbrush. I guess let's see what is going on in this one. Oh no, I'm so scared. What are you? Like I said though, Amy really knows what I like. So I feel like this is gonna be a really cool addition. Oh, it's a little baby down there too. Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to look and see what it is in the email because I could not guess. <laughs> like I have no idea. But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something that I don't have. It makes me so nervous getting them out when they're small. She packages like really good. So it just came right on out. Cause you always just wanna be careful when you open it not to like grab it and like squish it or something. I haven't heard of anybody doing that but I just feel like it'd be so easy to do that. Oh, it's turning around. Should probably do it over this little tub just in case we get a runner. At this size, I don't think they'd get far, but they sure aren't the easiest to find. Hello, little small baby. Oh my God, it's so cute. Try to get a close up on you. Look at that little. Oh my God. Hi, oh wow, you must be really special if Amy saw this and thought of me. This must be a really cool species. E.W., what could that be? I have no idea. Well, I do have a little bit of an idea. I'm thinking E, like youthless species red or species parda. Oh, 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 getting a little quick there, all right. Um, or I'm thinking like E. campostratus, but like E. W. is obviously not going to be E. campostratus because that's like E. C. I don't know. Let's get it in the enclosure and then we can uh, determine. All right, little one. These enclosures are so perfect for this size. I don't think I've gotten any slings quite this small in a while, so pretty handy, not gonna lie. Look at that, it's a little tick. Boy, I better label these because <laughs> I'm gonna confuse the two if I don't. So yeah, I guess I'm gonna read her email and see what it is because I have no idea. I'm pretty stumped. All right, so I have the answers and I'm going to read it now. This is the email it says, so the first one's the Kate Bruna piece. Thank you so much for including that little baby. I love it. The one we picked out for you is a Yupa Less Stress Wedge of Dergy. <laughs> she said, have fun. Have fun saying that. I literally, Yupa Less Stress. That's why I always say E Campostratus. E, E, just. I'm just gonna say E. Winnenbergi. Winnenbergi. E. Winnenbergi. That's what we're going with for now. Because I remembered how excited you were for the Campus Stratus. It's true. You guys know that I had my adult female Mew who unfortunately had impaction. I made a whole video about that. And then I actually got four E. Campus Stratus slings and I named them Mew2, Mew3, Mew4, and Mew5. All of them are doing great. I have them in little mini bioactive cubes, actually. I will also link that video down below because that was a really fun video. And for some reason it didn't do as well as I had hoped because it was one of those videos that I really liked making and it just didn't get as much engagement as other videos. So I don't know, but I'm gonna link it down below just in case you missed it. So she says that it does seem to be somewhat rare. So basically don't kill it because she can't get me another one. <laughs> it looks like she also attached some photographs of what they look like. Ooh. 
These are super cool. So it's from Uruguay. Uruguay. It looks a lot like the E Campus Stratus. So, I mean, it would make sense that they're related, but this is so cool. I am wondering though if they grow as slow as the E Campus Stratus. I'm gonna guess they do. So, we probably won't have anything that even resembles this in many years, but I'm so happy to have it. And it's really cool to have a little rare present from one of my besties. Thank you so much, Amy and Quinn. I really appreciate it. And I really love them both. I'm so happy to have them both. Oh, I'm gonna try to take really good care of them. When they're this little, it always concerns me, but fortunately, because I have all those jumping spiders, I've got tons of fruit flies on hand at all times right now. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will link Fang Hub Tarantulas down below. This was not sponsored, but she is a new up and coming vendor. They just kind of got their whole site together and there's everything together. So if you wanna go check them out, you should totally do that and see what they have because she is constantly like getting new things in. <laughs> and her son, Quentin, who by the way, let, now that we're talking about Quentin, I'm gonna show you guys something, hold on. Oh, look at this. Look at this, is this not amazing? I should talk like this so you can hear me. This is a tea Celadonia, and then this is all its babies. So Quentin also does photography, except he like super specializes in tarantulas and stuff. So yeah, Amy actually bred this tea Celadonia, and these are all the slings. And he took this photograph and it is so cool on canvas. I had to buy it. I think they might actually be selling prints on their website also, I'm not totally sure, but if they're not now, they probably will later, I don't know. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys this because I, it came in the mail and I was gonna unbox it and then I was just too excited and I just opened it right away and I never showed you guys, but it's so cool. I'm gonna go hang it back up now. Anyway, like this video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're not, and you want me. Don't forget to Instagram that I use probably way too much, it's at tarantula.cat, you can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, it is all linked down below. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks now.